professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving? Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Why our history is important to us. Um, you know, I got, I have, we have to bring this up. I think I talked about some of these things before, but I gotta refresh this. If you don't know your history, you, you know, this country kind of works in cycles. It's cyclical. So if you don't pay attention to your history, you're going to be blindsided by the cycle that's coming when you can actually predict it and prepare for it. So it's important to, to, for us to know our history. That's why I saw it should be important to us, you know, and I'm telling, saying this to the quote unquote younger generation or whatever. Like, so, um, Right now in this video, I'm 43 years old, right? And when I was a kid, I went I went to one Catholic school in my life, uh, you know, Holy Redeemer in New Orleans. And I remember how it was the 80s, and you and and and, and the church would always talk about whether it be Catholic, Catholic, Baptist, Episcopal, whatever. You know, whatever. You know, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, however you want to call it. By the time I got to college, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was gone. And it was just Father, Son. You know, Jesus and the Father, right? Now that I'm an adult, people are basically saying Jesus is God. Now these, and the crazy part about it is, a lot of these people are my age and older, right? And it's like, how did you get, how did you get brainwashed into forgetting the whole thing that you were taught in the beginning? How did we get there? Because people didn't pay attention to history. Uh... I got to bring religion in. I, I use religion because, you know, as in the black community, religion is a big thing. So I just wanted to show you, you know, even in your church, you got finessed. So you got to know you're going to get finessed about something else the same kind of way where, you know, what, what was good, what was one thing 30 years ago is going to morph into something completely different. And you're going to have to stay fast and go, uh-uh, and that's not what I'm doing. We talk about gentrification. We don't know our history enough to know, you know, basically what goes on is, you know, after the after red line and after block bust, bust block busting, after eminent domain and you know running freeways through through uh, black business districts and black cities and all over America, you know, and and, and um taking people's property, you know, people migrated to the cities for the most part. And what they did was, you know, Jim Crow season was, okay, the blacks are going to move here, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to charge, charge the blacks substantially more for this property than the new things that are getting built that the blacks can't live in because they're not allowed to. You know, the Levittown type situations. So, you know, like I'm saying Jim Crow. So say back then it, it, a mortgage was, say, let's just go 300 bucks. That's that, 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 To pay your, make your mortgage payment, you was paying 300 bucks a month. So that was in a new sprawling suburb, right? But you black, you can't go there. So not, so you in this city. In, in this older house that's that was built, you know, 20, 30 years ago, you're gonna pay 400 to 450 for this. And because it's dilapidated, and you're paying so much for it, you can pay it off, 
you basically paid off these people's mortgage on this old house and you're paying off paying off or down a mortgage on this other people's house, the new one. And then they gentrify. Because when you finally can make it out there, you know, because it's so old where you're at, you um you can finally go out there. What do you think they do to you? The same they did the same exact thing. And then they moved back into the to the city and revitalized it just overnight, right? You know, you didn't pay it off. You, you didn't pay it off for them. You didn't pay the taxes. You didn't, you didn't overpay because they basically, um, what do you call that? When people come, when you go in a business, when a business um, jacks up the price, they price gouge you. You know, they, they were gouging the prices. So now they, they got money for everything. And they was taking the tax money from the old place that they was at you know, and, and putting it into the sprawling suburb and now your kids is, have, have a horrible education and their kids have a great education, a great surroundings. And then, so you go out there because it's better and then they go back to the city and then all of a sudden overnight, the city gets better and that same tax money is somehow diverted to these other places and now that, that, that stuff goes down and that stuff goes up. So, if you don't know the history, you don't know you know, okay, they're going here, they're going here, they're going here. It's like, okay, so what are we going to do? How can we predict these movements? You know, how the government has sabotaged our community or time and time and time again. Same tactics from, you know, whether it be the FBI, the CIA, the police, you know, the, 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 the Senate, the White, you know, the Senate, the White House. Um, all these government programs that are supposed to help black people, but somehow black people can't get help, but, but these other groups get help for acting like they're helping black people. That type of stuff, over and over and over again. So, when, you, when you're not worried about history, your family's not passing down history, you're getting blindsided. You know, people got to tell you, oh, they're going to do this, 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 and this. It's coming. No, it's not. You know, th this idea that it's a new day, this is not going to happen. And it's like, okay, this new day and it's not going to happen type of stuff happened already. That was step one to it. That was step two. That was step three. That was step four. And then that, that happened. And you got people like, man, how did you know this was going to happen? History repeats itself. This country is not really innovative. You know, the way it's set up is not innovative. It, it, you go, oh, the same thing happens over and over and over again. So, you know, if you're willing to pay attention to our history, and that's why it should be important to us. You'll see what's going to happen next. It's why people, this is why they try to rewrite the history. Because if they rewrite the history, we're going to always fall for, for, the, for, the same, for the BS. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.